Okay, we're going to be looking at writing algebraic expressions and equations. Um, this topic is going to be one that I'll provide you with a lot of practice because the only way to get good at this is to practice it. So we'll just go over how to do this and then um, I'll include in your homework a PowerPoint that has about 40 different practice uh, statements and equations or expressions and equations and you'll be able to get a ton of practice on this. Alright, uh, just kind of to set up, even uh, the characters from Peanuts are using algebra and I know this is a little bit blurry but it says, uh, problem number five, a man has a daughter and a son. The son is three years older than the daughter. So basically setting up the the question. So let's take a look at suppose the daughter is 12, how old is the son? I'll let you answer that real quick. If you said 15 years, then you were correct. Um, then it goes on to ask what operation did you use to find the son's age and explain. So if you take a look at what Franklin is saying, he says a man has a daughter and a son and the son is three years older. Uh, the word older is your key word there and that typically means to add. So you would be using addition there. Then for number three, suppose the comic said that the son is twice as old as the daughter. If the daughter is 12 years old, how old is the son? So going back and this is where highlighting and using keywords is important. So you could be looking at the word twice. So twice would be the, um, the word that you'd want to use and twice in this case means multiplication. So if the daughter is 12 years old, then that means that the son would have to be 24. And what operation did you use to find the son's age? Explain. Well, that would twice is the same as multiplication. So you, he would be multiplying and you would get 24. So here's the answer to questions three and then down here uh, the explanations for the operation for number two and number four. Alright, some words and phrases and problems often suggest addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Here are some examples. And this is by no means a complete list. So you can, if you come across any words that you want to add to this, by all means. Um, a couple that I can think of right off the bat that are pretty common is for addition would be deposit because a lot of times we'll be talking about money. So deposit usually means to add to and the opposite of deposit is withdraw. So if you're withdrawing from a savings account or a bank or something like that, that means to subtract. And the other word that we've used, especially with fractions, is of. So when you take a fraction of a fraction or a fraction of a number like half of or one-third of keep in mind that means multiplication and another one you can add to division is group and again it depends on the context you would think each each is another one that's kind of got double meaning so each could also be a division word too so it just depends on how it's being used in the um, word problem Okay, so here's an example of how to break it down. Write the phrase $5 less than Jennifer earned as an algebraic expression. So in words, we have $5 less than Jennifer earned. So you want to highlight, we know we have $5. We know that it's less than, so what I usually do is if you're gonna write it down, here's $5 less than. Alright, I'm going to go back to a key word here, but we'll go ahead and say if, we, it's, a, if it's less than, we know it's going to be subtraction. And then Jennifer earned. Well, we don't know what she earned, but they went ahead and used D to represent the number of dollars she earned. 
Now notice what happens here. If I do this literally, I have 5 minus d, but the expression is d minus 5. And that is because this keyword here, I'm going to circle it, than. Whenever you have less than, you have to flip these. You have to flip these terms because remember there is a difference. Subtraction is not commutative, so you have to set it up correctly. And 5 minus d is not the same as d minus 5. So whenever you have the word than, that means you have to flip whatever you've written because it's five dollars less than D. It's, you have to take five dollars away from what Jennifer earned. All right, so take a look at the year term. Write each phrase as an algebraic expression. Twice as many tomatoes as last year and three more runs than the Pirates scored. Go ahead and pause this, answer those two questions, and then restart the video so you can see the answers. Okay, so here are the answers. Twice as many tomatoes as last year is 2t. And three more runs than the Pirates scored is r plus 3. Alright, the other thing is you can also have equations. And the keywords for equations are equals and is. So this is important. You need to write this down. So whenever you have an is, now we have an equation. So here are some examples. We have 5 more than a number is 20. Well, again, here's 5 more than, so that's going to be plus a number, okay, we can just use n, is, so there's your equal sign, 20. Now, in this case, we have this word than, so again, this is why they flipped them. So the 5 came over here and the n comes back over this side. Now, d remember, using commutative property, this isn't really a big deal. You could have 5 plus n or n plus 5. Commutative property says that they equal the same thing. Where the word than is the big thing is in subtraction. You have to pay attention to the word than in subtraction. Okay, taking a look at the other one three times. So we have three times Jack. Jack's age equals 12. So three times, that means we're going to be multiplying. Jack's age, we don't know what that is, so they use the A, equals 12. And then again, we don't use the x for multiplication. It's just 3 times a equals 12. All right, here's where you can use it in a word problem. If you read the word problem real quick, and just take out the important parts, so potato chips, were 3.1 million more than tortilla chips. So let t represent the number of millions of pounds of tortilla chips, and you get 12.4 equals 3.1 plus t. Again, we're not solving. Okay, We are just learning how to write sentences and equations. We're not trying to solve these. So you won't be asked to, you might be asked to solve some of these, but we don't have to solve all of them right now. Alright, so here's some practice. Let's go in, some more practice. Let's see what we can do with this. So write a phrase $20 less than the price of a movie ticket as an ad algebraic expression. So here we go. Twenty dollars. Okay, so we've got twenty. Less. Now remember, this says less the price. Doesn't say less than, so we can do this as is. The price of a movie ticket. Well, let's go ahead and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it T. So there you go. That's your expression. Twenty less all right, let's try this one. A number less 4 is 12. Okay, a number, you can call it whatever you want. I'll call it n. Less. All right, we know that's going to be subtraction. 4. So that's going to be 4 is equals and 12. So n minus 4 equals 12. Twice a number is 18. Okay, we have twice, so we know it's going to be two times. 
a number, well, let's call it x this time, is, which is equal, and 18. And there's your equation. All right, an average American adult drinks soft, uh, more soft drinks than any other beverage each year, three times the number of gallons of soft drinks plus 27 is equal to the total 183 gallons. Okay, so let's go back up here. Three times. Okay, we know it's going to be three times the number of gallons, and eh, let's call it G, plus 27, plus 27 is 183. Okay, and again, we're just asked to write an equation. Oops. Write an equation, and you don't have to answer it. So that's all you need to do. Alright, here's some more explanation with um, some examples. You can pause this, read, and take notes, and then continue on when you are ready to go. Alright, here are some practice problems, some more word problems that you could practice writing equations for. Go ahead and answer these yourself, and then continue the video to see the answers. Okay, so here are the answers. And again, if you didn't get any of these right or if you missed a few and you're not sure why, make sure you write a write down or highlight somehow and you can bring these questions to class. All right, and last but not least, here are some practice problems. Go ahead and answer these and then start the video to see the answers. Okay, here are the answers to the skill and concept check. We'll be practicing this in class, like I said, using several examples, but um, yeah, the best way to get uh, better at this or to get more confident with this is to practice. Just find as many of these as you can and just practice translating them. All right, that's it.